computing differently than classical computing. Uh, we have the principles of quantum mechanics, which is superposition. We also can do entanglement. So fundamentally, instead of being restricted with your conventional transistors in two states, zero and one, we can have multiple states. And what that allows us to do is have an exponentially higher computing capability, but also exponentially lower energy consumption. So we can use things significantly faster. I'm talking million and billion times faster or even more, and also consuming a lot less energy at the same time. So very exciting technology, tremendous potential. We can solve problems that are near impossible to solve or impossible to solve with classical computing. We are talking about drug discovery, weather forecasting, uh, things that are extremely difficult to do when you have millions of variables all interacting with them. So tremendous potential with quantum computing, exciting area. Uh, many studies have been done. The market is expected to be in the hundreds of billions of dollars in the long term. We're looking 15, 20 years from now. Um, having said that, right now we are very much in the R&D stage. Mm -hmm. We are still developing the technology. We are still trying to perfect the technology. We are not quite ready to go to a data center manager and say, here's how quantum computer is better or cheaper than your state-of-the-art HPC, SCPU or GPU type technologies. Um, but the potential is there. We clearly are, are developing and many companies are advancing the technology at a tremendous rate.